Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a face chart recreation. This is of one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram, uh, Milk1422. He does amazing face charts. I saw this face chart in my feed and I was just so into it. I loved like the simplicity of the makeup, but then it was just all this different colored like splatter looking type freckles on the face. So I really wanna just sit down and recreate it one day. So I decided to do it today and film it. So we're gonna be recreating this splatter makeup look. So let's go ahead and get started. It's like a ketchup bottle, you know? You have to hit the Mac logo if you want it to come out. Hey, tell me that didn't work though. We're gonna start with foundation. I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid. You know, I like to... <laughs> Turbo, come on, man. Uh, I'm using Studio Fix Fluid shade NC20. I actually got NC20 and NC30. I like them better than NC25 by itself, so. For, like NC25 for some reason feels just really golden to me. Oh, look at how full coverage this is. Mmm. And I had already primed my skin, my hydrating primer from Makeup Forever. You know what I'm feeling like I might do is I might take NC20 and mix in some Pro Glow. How do you feel about that? Interesting. All right, I mixed a little Pro Glow 205 with my NC20. Is this NC20? Yeah, it is NC20. Let's see how this, you know, just to kind of thin it out a little bit. This makeup spatula is like one of my best investments on Amazon. That's right, Amazon find. All right, now we're gonna do the under eye highlight brightener and I wanna do it pretty bright, but I also wanna try and add a little kiss, like a hint of pink, you know, a little bit pinkier. We'll see if I actually do it. I always think I wanna do it and then I'm like, nah. So I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna do a little bit of light medium mixed with light. <coughs> this is like a more yellowy undertone and this one's definitely more pinky and it's a lot lighter. We'll see how this plays out. Damn, that's a lot of concealer. And now I'm gonna set the under eyes. I'm using the Kat Von D. This is the uh, Locket Petal Powder. See how it's just like a little bit, it's like a peachy pink. I'm glad it's not pink, but I'm also gonna mix it with my RCMA powder. All right, so I just put a little bit of the RCMA like directly under the eyes in the in the danger zone just to set. And now I'm gonna come in directly with the Kat Von D powder and do like a heavier set uh, around the whole area, this area. So I'll make it like really nice and bright, but it does help to do a little bit of color correcting too, which is kind of nice because it's got that like peachy undertone. All right, and for uh, eyeshadow base, I'm actually just gonna use the shape tape just a little bit. So I'm just gonna stick like a dot on each eye and buff it around. I've actually been doing this a lot lately. I'm not totally sure why, but it works pretty good. And then just set it with the RCMA powder. I'm gonna go on to the eyeshadow, but while my skin's still a little bit like dewy, I wanna do just the cheek highlight. And I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D. This is the Alchemist palette, holographic palette. The shadows in here, I remember when I first opened it, I was kind of like, it looks whatever, but the shades are actually insane. So I'm gonna use Pink Opal, and this is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. Okay. I'm gonna take this shadow, this is Smoke from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and we're just gonna be doing, you know, just smoking out the shadow a little bit, uh, but I'm gonna use a Smith 230. Next, I'm just gonna buff it out with a blending brush. This is the Zoeva 228. It has a little bit of like a warm brown shadow in it, which is fine. And now I'm gonna add some to the lower lash line. Same color, smoke with a Luxie 231. Just kind of connect it to the shadow. I'm gonna go about halfway. All right, now I'm gonna start on the inner corner and I'm gonna take Cherry Cola, something that's like not purpley, like a burgundy, ish i don't even know how to describe it but this is the color that i want cherry cola from makeup geek where are you oh here it is morphe e36 it's a little bit more domey you see like right you see how like my crease is right there 
That's where I'm gonna put the shadow actually, like down here. You see what I'm saying? Right, right where my ball is actually. This is like the bottom of my ball. So I'm gonna leave it naked above that. So make it like I'm permanently going like this, you know, but I'm not. All right, now I'm gonna do inner corner highlight and I'm gonna mix two colors from the Alchemist palette. I'm gonna use blue, sapphire, and green emerald. Mix them together and really make it, make the inner corner scream. I saw Desi did this. She used this on the inner corner and it was like crazy. It looked crazy good. I'm gonna do some black liner, just fill in like the inner corner cat eye part and just do along the top lash line my Inglot Gel Liner, and a Sigma Winged Liner Brush, E06. It's very little, I'll probably use my Sonia Kashuk one when I get on the lid. All right, and I wanna do like a little highlighting type of thing. You know, I don't know if you watched my last face chart video, but I did the same thing. This is just white eyeliner from Urban Decay. I'm gonna add a little bit to the lid, just a few specks to make it look kind of glossy. And then I'm gonna try and not wear lashes. I don't know how exactly that's gonna work out for me. I'm gonna wear my waterproof, Too Faced, Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. Do a couple coats on here. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the contouring of the face. And I wanted to do my brows after I do this just because it's gonna be like kind of up in the brow area. My NYX Highlight Contour Palette. I'm gonna switch over to this NYX eyeshadow. Wait, is that one too big too? I might've gotten a little crazy here. Let's try this NYX one. All right, so the first shade that I used was this one. It ended up being a little bit too warm. So I switched over to this shade and I really like that. So I'm just going in here and going like right here and just swirling like in this spot. And now I have enough of that. So I'm gonna go into the darker one, which is super ashy and really dark. And I'm just gonna stick it right in this pocket right here and just buff it around. That was kind of like a learning experience for me just now. Mm -hmm. Just saying. And I can't go too far down onto the actual bridge of my nose because there's this bone sticks out so much that I feel like it just highlights it. So I'm gonna stop it right here. This is kind of giving me like Linda Holberg vibes right now, which is like always my life goal. I'm like, oh, is this where he puts the shadow? So I'm just gonna tap on with my Beauty Blender some excess foundation. They did contour the lips a lot. Where did my phone go? And then a little bit on the inner part of the cupid's bow to add a shadow in here to make it look deeper. More like a hole, you know? Could add some highlight to the top. All right, I'm gonna find a pink lipstick to put on so I don't look quite so dead, but I don't know which one I wanna do yet, so I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, I'm gonna put some eyeliner in the waterline. This is just the NARS Coal Liner, black. And I'm only gonna put the black on the inner and outer corner of the waterline. And now I'm gonna add the white in the center, just a little bit of dimension. This is from Makeup Forever, the Aqua XL Eye Pencil, matte white. All right, let's do some brows, shall we? So I'm just gonna use my, my uh, Benefit Cabrow, number four. Just do my brows kind of like normal. I'm gonna dab on some angelic lipstick. This is from Dose of Colors. So for blush, I wanna go really bronzy. So I'm gonna go into my Ofra palette and use this shade right here which I believe to be raisin. I believe to be, don't know for sure. I think chiseled. If you think chiseled, you will be chiseled. Think chiseled. All right, and then I'm gonna bronze heavy. Ooh, I found my bronzer finally. I was about to lose my mind. All right, this is just Nars Laguna. All right, I was just looking like I want, you know my Monica Dar powder, like the bright yellow one that I use right here to like really brighten. I was like, how sick would it be if I could find like a pinky one like that? And I found this. This is a blush from Makeup Geek called First Love. Bright 
light pink iridescent like literally what i was looking for how often does that happen once never john the answer is never all right so let's just use that same brush that i used to highlight this stuff is like really like i just tapped it once and it was like a lot on there so let me do a little bit less than that Didn't really have the same effect that I wanted it to. All right, let's try it. Let me go with the eyeshadow, actually. I'm gonna use this color right here. This is Fresh from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But you know what I did wanna do? I love this brush, by the way, this NYX one. I would like to take... I think it's Japanese. John. This one actually says NYX on it, so nice try, girl. I'm gonna take Bitten. Let's just go ahead and use a MAC 217, and we're gonna, right here, just to give it like a little bit more color, but not as dark. I've got a bunch of like eyeliners that I could just do dots. I've got some, Cream colors, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream colors. I, I brought out my Inglot gel liners, which the ones that I have from Anastasia are the same color, so I'll probably just use those. And I also, I received these last year with um, a, a package from NYX. It was like a special effects makeup package, but their lip of the day. This is like, it's a liquid lip liner, but I have a bunch of different colors, so I might use some of these too. But I'm just gonna start adding a bunch of different dots, a bunch of different colors onto the face, lots and lots of dots. Well, that was fun. Did you have fun freckling with me? Or is this splattering? All right, so that wraps up this uh, face chart makeup recreation. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I thought that was kind of fucking rude. Where's my bronzer? Okay, 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 okay. I might've put a little too much blush on. It's possible. That's still rolling? All right, all right, all right, all right. We're still rolling, fam. Your little fucker ass. Whatever's my under eye brush. I'll just kill me right now. Oh, here it is. Damn.